Welcome to Graham Games. My name is Graham. This is a game. Today I'm playing Paper Planet, a roguelike base defending arcadey flash inspired game. I actually played a demo of it on the channel maybe a little over a year ago, but now Two Left Thumbs is publishing the game. I'm super excited about that and I want to show off more of it because it's just going to be a, a great time. It is due to release August 21st. There will be links down below if you want to wishlist it for yourself. Some basic, pretty basic gameplay here. You are this little turret circling a planet. You gotta shoot the incoming waves of the enemies. There are special ones like these yellow guys that launch a separate projectile. It is okay if that hits your planet. You just have to make sure that it doesn't hit your turret. Whereas there are separate ones that are the opposite of that. But we'll, we'll get to those in a minute. So the broken pipe for damage up or miracle beetle becomes exactly what you need, probably. Both of which are references to different Flash games. This one's specifically a Flash game, this one like a Flash game slash like animated show. I will be very curious if people are able to figure those out in general. The broken pipe especially I feel like is is more on the generic side, but Miracle Beetle, I think people will be able to figure that one out. Just, just think of uh, some synonyms <laughs> and you'll be on the right path of figuring that one out. You have this nice like blue beam sticking out from your turret so you have like a vague sense of, of where you're aiming or at least straight out because you still have the control with your mouse to shoot elsewhere. You can play with the controller, but I tend to prefer just doing it mouse and keyboard style. But the game also added local multiplayer not that long ago. You can play with up to four people, and in that case you probably like are going to absolutely want to use the controller. But that is just uh, an option available to you. Momentum. Damage increases with speed when moving. I'm not very fast, uh, I'm moving a fair amount, but I don't think I'll see a ton of damage scaling yet. Stats increase for every generic item you have. You know, I don't actually know what is considered a generic item, maybe ones that just have a gray background? I'm publishing, I'm not developing, I actually, <laughs> there's like a, a degree to this that I don't actually know. So, that must qualify as a generic item, or maybe, maybe the amulet itself does but it added one damage. So, tiny bit more damage. For the most part, the things I'm fighting thus far are like single shot enemies. They're not very complicated, not high health. There you go, there's something with health. And red projectiles are the ones that you have to block instead of dodge. I really like the way the game actually like reminds you and warns you. It's, it's very hard to like miss and forget that that's a, an important part of what's going on. So plenty of warnings in place there. And throwing up the shield is as simple as right clicking. But while you're doing that, you actually can't shoot. So you're blocked from shooting while your shield is up. So you got to be like strategic about that. And just a simple space bar to pop out on the other side of the planet. So, you can just nice mobility there. Uh, every so often you get a shop. I don't need to heal. I don't think I need to invest in the shield. Fire rate up and health down. That might be worthwhile. Another reference, by the way. The try shot, triple shot, curses you for X waves, which I guess I don't get to know ahead of time. Uh, I can afford more than one item, so... Invincibility time up. That must be after you get hit with the projectile. You have like a short window of invincibility. I'll do fire rate up. Uh, see, I lost health, not permanent health, mind you. So that's did did I lose permanent health there? I don't I don't know. I don't think so. The try shot though, that'll be super valuable. But then you're cursed for 12 rounds, which means if you take any damage, you're just dead. But I think early on. Uh, in like the first zone here, pre any bosses even, is like the time when I want to take that sort of risk. But I just, I gotta be super on the ball about incoming red projectiles and things. See, I, I, my, my cursed timer is already trickling down there. Not too big of a concern. And the triple shot itself is like, you know, already paying off in the sense that you're suddenly covering 
massive amounts of the screen here this is actually going to be quite tricky because now all of a sudden i got to be worried about like dodging and things while taking out the boss and taking zero damage whatsoever so suddenly the stakes in this boss fight are are quite high let's flip up my shield I, I i'm trying to like push it to the last possible second as much as possible to make sure i'm no, okay, uh, he's, he's gonna chase me down with that laser beam, so I just want to get out ahead of that. I don't want to risk any damage, but I can kind of shoot around the corner there. Oh god, that was a lot. That was a lot all at once. He's pulling out the big guns, but I don't mind because I got my own big guns to work with. Yeah, 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 got him right before his secondary blast there. So, first boss, pretty simple, not too big a deal. The Uncommon Suite, probably my single favorite reference in the game. I just think that's so funny. And Rubber Band Ball for Bouncy Bullets. Rubber Band Ball, Bouncy Bullets. That's just kind of fun to say. All stats up, though, is pretty phenomenal, it's especially for damage. That's kind of huge. And, and that increased fire rate, also great. I no longer have Try Shot. That's a strange one. I actually don't... There, It's back. So I don't know why that was uh, temporarily disabled after the fight like that. Like, genuinely not a clue. <laughs> I, I, I still I still have my curse. So I still gotta be careful. I mean, it's not like you ever don't need to be careful. But I gotta be extra, extra careful. So, new ship type. Those ones are, are shielders. You gotta take them out before you can destroy the thing they are shielding. Prism buddy, look on the bright side. And VIP card, the shopkeeper will show you more of his wares. I think I want the prism. I think, oh, maybe just during these shops, you just end up with, your try shop must go away so that you don't accidentally shoot something you don't mean to. Uh, I was wondering if I needed to shoot my bullets through the prism. It's, it's not an item I'm super familiar with. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if you shoot through the prism, which is going to happen a little more often because... I have that try shot, like it'll happen incidentally now and again. But that one is like, that one's sick. Dark side of the paper planet going on there. Uh, and we, the, the green guys, they're just like a little bit dodgy. I just kind of like that little gem in that floating rock back there. I don't entirely know behaviorally how the blue guys differ, but the green ones, they just like try to avoid you once. And then that's kind of like a spent ability, and then you don't really have to worry about it again. Try to make good use of the teleports to really move around the map. Cover as much as I can. Oh my god, I can't believe how long that curse lasted actually. <laughs> I wonder if the curse length... Oh god. Oh, that was so close, right at the very end, right with one left. If the curse length is relative to, like, how powerful the, the item is, and the try shot is, like, pretty powerful overall. So, it makes sense that it was there was a lot to fight against. Also, the progression wave to wave just, like, really isn't that long. Um, I got, like, a cat crawling around at my feet here. No time. No time for you. I'm, <laughs> I'm busy. Busy saving the entire planet. Can't be giving you little head scratches. You'll get some attention later. <laughs> Another reference again, the bubble cannon. Damage up, health down. My my health has gone up a fair amount with the uncommon sweet. Speen! <laughs> I don't know, I actually don't understand the joke of speen, but I like it. I could afford both if I really wanted to. I'm gonna do bubble cannon only though, I think. Blocks a bullet. I could heal. I think I'm gonna leave it at that. I think... Damage up, health down. I think I'm gonna go with that one only. So my 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 bullets are getting a little bit notably bigger after all that. I, I think with they just go uh, get larger as they scale with damage. Like it's really fun to, to commit to the prism and just try to sh fire all your bullets through that just for the chaos of it. But uh, he's rather infrequently lined up where I need him to be. So you're, you're fun to have there, Prism Buddy, but I'm, I'm not banking on you too heavily. This, if I could get lined up properly, this will be huge. Look at that, I just melted his health away there. Line that up, he's like sitting on top of it there. Oh god, ah! Oh, I made it just in time. There's a little bit of forgiveness there. I think they might even literally like slow down when they're near your planet. Ah, see, again, again, I feel like they, they give you 
a lot of time to react right at the end there. And that time I I let the the one you're supposed to dodge hit me. That's that's huge. If you get him lined up with the prism there, just like instantaneous. That's awesome. Very satisfying. Fire rate up and wild magic. And the mediocrity amulet. I already have that, and I'm pretty sure it's adding at a minimum six right now, and probably like I'll gain fire rate and I'll gain damage. Hmm. I didn't. So I don't know entirely. <laughs> I could be incorrect about how that works. But the higher fire rate, that's going to be huge. The wild magic, so my bullets are kind of just a little crazier now. And even, like, coming out the other side of the prism, their colors are all wonky and distorted and things. So, like, having the wizard staff mixed with the prism is seemingly quite a funny combination. You just end up with a lot going on on screen at once. And that's the real beauty of this game, is that pretty well every run is overpowered on some level. <laughs> like, the game wants you to break things wide open and just have insane over-the-top builds. So, fire rate way up, damage way down, or banana lol so random. The banana just kind of bounces around and damages things. I kind of want the massive fire rate and just like a silly, stupid amount of bullets on screen at once. So look at that. The damage is like cut in half. Maybe even more dramatic than- I think it's half. I think it might have been cut in half. But having a, a, a type of milk that both adds bullet insanity and lowers- raises your fire rate, lowers your damage. Like it's very one-to-one. -one. Yeah, another reference very directly to a game. One that is both a full Steam release and a Flash game. I'm going to just keep sprinkling those in there in the hopes that you guys know what I'm talking about and you're picking up on the references. <laughs> so make every effort you can to to identify those because I, I want to know that I'm I'm speaking to my people here. <laughs> everyone everyone knows what the, the devs were going for. I'm, I'm very, very, very thrilled with the amount of uh, references and homages paid to Flash Gaming. If anyone follows Two Left Thumbs, the like YouTube channel, not just the publishing label, then see there's the, the, the fire that just got shot down. You gotta like jump to the other side of the planet to avoid that. It's gonna happen again. It spreads around there. You hop across. You avoid the the circle closing in around you. That one's a little bit trickier. You gotta be a little bit more mindful. But anyone who follows Two Left Thumbs, they're gonna know I love indie games. I love flash games, and I love games that pay many many references that just pay tribute to their own inspirations and and sprinkle all those in there usually the more subtle the better i like subtle ones and i find a lot of these quite subtle so big big fan lots of things that drew me to this game personally cloud spirit is a reference not what i knew myself i had to ask about that one uh, it's a terrible day for rain cat's eye diamond yellow projectiles that get close to the turret that get close to the turret give a damage bonus. Mm. So when the yellow bullets are incoming, if I let them get near me, I do higher damage for temporary. Damage up, fire rate down, speed and health down. Um, my fire rate is crazy high right now. Oh, I, I'm, I'm almost accidentally activating that. Your planet erupts with seeds. I honestly don't know how often that happens or anything. I, I, I don't know that one. I don't really know how that one works. I'm going to play around with it. Uh, I now have this, so it's it's like a charge meter. Every time that triggers, then whatever the crazy effect is will happen. Now, this is kind of funny, because I think this will raise my damage a fair amount, but not lower my fire rate, like not as dramatically as the milk did. So, <laughs> fire rate's still very, very, very high. My fire rate, rate went up. Um, fire rate up. Damage and fire rate up. Oh, okay then. Well, that actually combos incredibly well with what I already had going. And you know what? Let, let's get back up to full health just to have that going for me. So, there is the explosion of seeds. <laughs> it triggers so much more often than I thought it would. It, it, it's uh, how often it triggers is probably tied to my fire rate, actually. So that one's uh, a little bit out of control. There you go, I'm already, clear that wave, already on the boss of this zone. Uh, so you gotta keep an eye, we were introduced to the, the fire circling before. Oh, I almost teleported directly into the fire trying to avoid some of those bullets there. My mistake. 
But yeah, we're, we're familiar with that. We know how to how to counter it. This boss just does it more frequently than any of the other enemies did. Come on, Prism. I want, I want you crowding around over here. Like at no point have you been where I want you to be. Dang it. I really didn't get to make as much use of that as I want to. There, 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 there it is again. There it is again. Oh, and I've, I, I circled around the fire. There's a lot going on on screen at once. It makes it a, a little hard to keep track of at times. Maybe you'll notice there's like uh, subtle things going on though that obscure the, the bullets when they get close to the planets so that you can track them a little more easily. And uh, where where is this one actually? I'll throw on V-Sync, sir. Sure. Uh, bullet opacity. That's the other one. That's another pretty important setting actually for for just this occasion when you have that many bullets going on on screen and, and he's shooting that many things back at you and it's just can get overwhelming so I, I just wanted to point out that that's there because i think a lot of people like having that feature i'm not going to make a lot of use of it one more reference here fire rate and damage up but the bullets themselves are slow and shoot bullet streams geyser gun now, i already have a lot of fire rate and everything i'm gonna go geyser gun because i honestly i don't know that one that well yeah Okay, I touched uh, the the button once there, and that was how things started off. <laughs> um, hmm, this is quite the combination, and now it's inevitable that the bullets hit the prism. So that is uh, just happening continuously. It's it's basically <laughs> never not happening. Uh, I I genuinely don't even know what's going on anymore. That is hilariously overpowered. Curses make you stronger. I, I, I don't feel like being cursed again. It, it's too risky when there's that much on screen at once. Spicy Cheezo Sushi, damage up, and a nasty tasting full heal. I don't really know why that would be nasty tasting. Yeah, fire rate up. Our fire rate's a little bit lacking. We, we definitely need more of that going on. And how about the damage up? Sure, let's just take a little bit of both. Nasty... Full heal. Nasty tasting full heal. But it is still full. But I, I'm one. I, if full healed me and then took one off, maybe? Is that is that what the trade-off was there? I genuinely don't even know. So that's extra fire rate and extra damage. Here's how that starts to look. <laughs> Actually, do you know what? I'm going to stop shooting for a second. I'm going to let all, all of this calm down. I, ha I haven't been holding the fire button in quite some time. There we go. Okay one tap that's what happens that's what happens i still I've, I've still only touched it once this is the geysers are just like still doing their thing ah the the, the uh, block block required there that was one touch one touch of the fire there we go i tapped it once again oh right this one's bouncy so you gotta block it twice uh again haven't haven't touched <laughs> Haven't touched the fire. <laughs> so I have to, uh, it, it, it's it's just a little bit out of control. It's a little bit mental. So here's actually holding it down properly again and just letting it rip and do its thing. Uh, next boss coming in. Look at all of that coming out the other side of the the prism. It's phenomenal. I don't even I don't even remember what this boss does. What they have in store for me because I'm not at all worried about it. It's through the prism there. Just get get a lot going on there. The health is still, like, calculating. <laughs> it just overcame that by so much. So I could add Deimos, the the second boss, the paired bosses, one of them, and Spiral Bullets Charged Shot that makes you dizzy. So I'm pretty sure that makes your bullets spin around. They're already filling the entire screen. They might as well spin as well. There it is. Impossible. There, There is nowhere safe on this screen because absolutely everything is now bullets. There's nothing that isn't bullets anymore. I've, I've maxed it all the way out. It's actually, you can see, see in the top left there, there are about 6,000 bullets on screen at any given time. 7,000. It goes as high as 7,000. And you can start to see little bits of lag occurring, but it's actually, the engine is very well optimized. It's holding up incredibly well, considering the in insanely ridiculous out of control number of bullets that we're currently having on screen. This is what I love to see. This is what the game's all about. 
This is why I wanted to be a part of it. Wow, that's a lot of bullets all at once. Uh, I'm gonna miss that one. I just, even even with teleporting, I just was not gonna make it to that one on time. Really, because aiming at anything specific doesn't even matter. I should just line myself up for whatever the most likely next bullet to hit me is. Just get myself in the way and let my bullets take care of the rest. Damage up, fire rate up again, or long bullets. Do you know what? Uh, maybe, maybe I do a bit of both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can afford both. <laughs> so I'm gonna do both. Uh, and the heals, you know, there's the, the price variation there. And... I, no, that's my full health there, so I, I, I'll leave that alone. So let's see. Long bullets that are spiraled, uh, you have the two times the damage rate and everything. Like, it's just, there's a lot now, so yeah. Yep, now the bullets just have a nice long extra length going on. I barely made that in time. Ah, now it's uh, about 14,000 bullets on screen at once. And with that, we've crossed over into the game is barely functioning. <laughs> I, I like, can't even dodge things anymore. I, I mentioned early on that the game is built to have broken builds. This is extra. This is genuinely maybe among the most broken builds I've ever achieved. And so it, it's, it's truly a pleasure to, to share that with you now today. Let, let's, let's fire through the prism as much as we can while the, the boss is passing through. Uh... Oh, oh, I thought I was stuck. He, he like holds you in place sometimes. He blocks off corners of the map and things. And so that was what happened there. Totally blocked me. Don't even, can't even tell you what just happened there. Cause it kind of just flew past. But you better give me all the bonuses on those last few zones there. Cause <laughs> I, I took damage. My combos were getting rough because I was, I assume shooting so much and not actually continuously hitting anything you know like so that many 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 of the bullets were misses which is i think kind of the issue there so a cool thing you can do here you could copy items and then if you wanted to play around with things boss rush unlocked that's also cool to have access to you could play that now but you could hop into creative mode and let's see where where is that spawn items from clipboard so then you could then just have that exact build available to you in creative mode you can spawn in enemies and play around with that uh, i don't know if there's i don't think there's a way to specifically remove some of the items uh so i kind of wonder if that would be a good a good thing to offer to people who want to play around in creative mode is maybe they realize like Oh, this is not adding anything. I want to strip that out and see how this build works without it or or any any little small things like that. So I, I kind of wonder a little bit if maybe that could be improved, tweaked, adjusted. So we also earned a bunch of the currency that we would need to, to unlock things. Oh, do you know what? I think I probably, because I'm playing on like a developer account... I think I probably already have everything unlocked. I do. I do, which is not what I intended. So when I do additional runs, I would probably play around with that. You can completely customize the, the color of, of your guy, which is just like a fun little thing that you can mess around with, whatever your favorite color is. That's an option that's available to you. You have the nice immediate colors you can refer back to. But yeah, that's just like another fun way you can mess around with things. I definitely want to try off the different planet types. You would normally, you would normally take those staples that you earn. So there's paper clips within a run, there's staples outside of a run. You would take that to the shop, you can unlock additional planets, additional items, things like that to make your next run wilder and crazier. You can review the different stats, uh, different things about different items, least favorite, most favorite. There's just a lot. There's a lot of things to track and, and play around with. There are difficulty modifiers that I never showed off previously. Fun ways that you can totally just mess around with things. Sugars and spices. So for example, sugar of honey. Decrease enemy speed by 12.5% per level. So you're making things easier on yourself and the end total score you get will be reduced. 
uh, give an extra item choice each item wave per pool so you have a little bit more to play around with more options decrease enemy fire rate reduce maximum number of enemies spawned make you invincible so that one's just all or nothing and it reduces your score basically to nothing but you can play that way if you wish and sugar of the underdog bosses gain a damage taken debuff that slowly increases over time spices making the game harder for yourself give boss a damage reduction buff increase enemy fire rate caps your hp reduce number of item waves uh, by one item waves by one per level so i think that's at the shop maybe increase the maximum number of enemies and increase enemy speed i'm not going to play around with any of those right now but you can really customize that experience make it as challenging as you want and really shoot and strive for like top huge score bonuses achievements are not currently hooked up in the game but definitely we want to have achievements localizations lots of different things we're trying to get into the game in time for release that'll all be coming august 21st link at the top of the description please do go wishlist that as it helps us out enormously it shows steam that you're interested that was bonkers i'm, I'm looking forward to doing more hyper over the top broken ass runs in this game <laughs> thank you so much for watching i'll see you again soon